everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan. And Serana and Cat Vegetable. Well, Serana's taking a break, I guess. Oh, she's up. Okay. So, last time we got sent back to the past uh, to find out what happens to this city of burnt corpses. And we had quite a bit of fun <laughs> on the balcony there. But uh, this time we're going to be... We're, we're probably just going to be talking to a lot of people this episode, honestly. Which is totally fine. But one thing that I do want to say before we get started is that I had a comment on the last video by Hybrid Hawk. He said it was a mod so good that they actually made a full game out of it. And sure as shit, there is in fact a full game called The Forgotten City. And it's on sale right now for 10 bucks. That's insane. And it's got fucking 96 positive reviews. Well, 96%, you know what I mean. But yeah, it looks super cool and interesting. And that has made me just so more excited for the actual mod. <laughs> but all right, that's enough talking. Let's start talking. <laughs> got my eye on ya. <laughs> Okay, cool. Is, is it because you only have one eye? What's your story? What? Did you say something to me? Yes, I asked you what your story is. No use talking to me, young one. Can't hear a word you're saying. Both ah. me ears went years ago. Still got my one good eye, though. All I need. Used to be a vigilant of Stender till I slipped up. You take mm. it from me. You ever find yourself toe to toe with the flame at Redoc? You make sure you put some distance between you before you kill it. Otherwise, whoosh. Eyes, ears, and hair gone. All at the same time. Well, that's cool. Uh, do you know a way out of here? Didn't catch a word. Yeah, I figured. And I'll be honest, being deaf ain't half so bad as you'd think. No one bothering you asking questions. Well, I'm gonna go through the whole dialogue tree, just to make sure. Uh, why does the Jarl need a guard with dwarves' laws? Sorry, young one. No <laughs> idea what you're saying. How the fuck does he communicate with people? I'm, I'm going. Still can't hear ya. Okay, well, I'm just gonna walk away then. You have you have a good day, sir. Um, Is there anyone else? Now, we have the key. Does the key go to here? I doubt it. Especially in the past. Okay. Maybe there's a way to open up that gate in the past so that when we go back to the future it's open you know what i'm saying that'd be neat actually did i just go down one floor am i stupid yeah i did just go down one floor right i didn't skip anyone okay i was about to say i want to talk to everyone here so let's start okay there's no one here there's someone. Just gonna take a look in these rooms here. Hello, lady. No. Oh, hello. Gaia. What's your story? I'm Gretchen from Hyrak. I've studied history at the Imperial City, which led me to Skyrim in search of Dromo ruins. And now I'm here. Some days I just can't believe my luck. Working with Bro. Researching the richest source of Dromer history and technology I could have imagined. I feel like we're on the brink of some amazing discoveries about the Dwemer. Who knows? Maybe we'll find not all of them have disappeared. Uh, can you tell me about the history of this place? I could, but Brawl knows much more than I do. You should be able to find him in his chambers down the city. Okay. Uh, do you know a way out of here? A way out of here? Are you kidding? Why would I want to get out of here? I can't think of a single place in all time real I'd rather be. Fair enough. I like training in the art of speechcraft. Do you need help with any of your research? Now that you mentioned it, I do. 
I need you to get something for me, and it won't be easy. I've tried everything I can think of, and still nothing. There's a big Nord living down in the city called Rikus. You may have seen him walking around in an immaculate example of dragon armor. I need that armor. It's the only one like it, and I believe it to be crucial in unlocking the secret of this place. The trouble is, huh. before I could get a good look at it, that brute Rikas claimed it as his own, and has been wearing it ever since. I've tried everything. Appeals to his better nature, flattery, charm, even threats. It's like negotiating with a brick wall. The only thing I haven't tried is violence, and you know how that would end. But I'm convinced there's a way to get it. There has to be. All right, I'll give it a try. Thank you. If you do manage to get it, you're welcome to keep it. I just need to have a quick look at it. That's all. Okay, cool. That probably has a helmet included. Uh, I'd like training in the of art course. of speechcraft. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Okay, so it only costs five hundred dollars. Uh, I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'll be going now. That's fine. I've got a lot of reading to do if I'm going to know half as much as Bo one day. Okay, cool. Is there anyone else on this floor? Doesn't seem like it. A bunch of stuff to steal, which I'm not really, not looking to kill everyone here, just for a fucking coin, or something. Let's go down another level. See who else we can talk to. Should be people here. And doesn't look like there's anyone here. Ah, oh, there's someone. Oh, there's two people. All right, we'll start with you. What is it? Domitus. What's oh, your story? Sorry, what's my story? What an oblivion is your story? How dare you come in here like you own the place and expect Why me to are you explain praying? myself to you? To him. <laughs> my apologies, I am Tarty Penis and I'm new here. I don't care who you are, but pay attention. There's a pecking order around here and I'm at the top of it. Well, after the yowl, of course. So work <laughs> hard. And do what I tell you, or you'll wish you died and gone to oblivion. Got it? My apologies, I didn't mean to upset you. I don't like your attitude, I think I'm just gonna kill you. <laughs> uh, you know, speaking to the people like that is gonna provoke someone to hit you. Nonsense. Not even a peasant like you would be stupid enough to do that. Everybody knows it would break the dwarf's law and get us all killed. So, I'll speak to you and the other peasants as I see fit, and there's nothing you can do about it. Got it? Now well, that's get rude out as of fuck. my sight. I'm sick of you. I will say his logic is pretty sound, he, though. He can hear us. Okay. Not here. He can hear us. Okay, well, I don't know where you want me to go, but whatever. Oh, wow, he's a dick. Let me try talking to him again, just to see if I can get those other dialogue option trees. No. Me, I don't want anyone okay, fair enough. Let's see down here if there's anyone still here. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Where does this door go to? Oh, there is someone in here. Oh, and he's doing shit. Hello. Oh, look, I have a visitor. How lucky for me. Yeah, I'm starting not to like these people. <laughs> What's your story? My story? It's about a quiet man who preferred to keep to himself. Short and sharp. Uh, do you know a way out of here? Yes, I do. Death. Death. Is the only way out of here. I'll be going now. <laughs> you do that. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Well, I'm assuming this leads back into the Forgotten City. We've got a ton more of people to talk to. Okay. It's nice and green. I like it over here. 
Hello, lady. Help. Oh. There's a looter coming into the city. What did you see? I saw a man come down the shaft, but he was armed and he looked like a looter. If he makes it into the city and starts attacking people, he'll break the dwarves' law. And who knows what will happen? You have to stop him. Everybody, go home and lock your doors. Okay, I'll take care of it. Don't even worry about it. Everybody, uh, stay calm. The penis is on it. Oops. Okay, there we go. Oh, these display cases are all... Oh, there's stuff in there. Oh, so we could probably lockpick those. Huh, did I fuck this up? Where is my journal? Go through the city entrance and stop the looters from coming down the shaft. Okay. I don't see any looters. Maybe they're down here? No? Huh. Is there supposed to be a dude over here? I don't understand. Is that not the main entrance in the shaft? Let's talk to you. Oh, you're probably running away. Yeah. Okay, well, shit. Now she won't talk to me until I take care of the looters. And it looks like everybody's running away. Oh, who the fuck is that now? I see you creeping over there, bro. Who the hell are you? Oh! You fucking bitch slap, dude. Holy shit. Okay, is that all of them? Was it just the one guy? Hello, sir. What can I do for you, my friend? Do you know a way out of here? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how often the new ones ask that question. But I'll tell you the same thing I tell everyone else. There are much worse places to live out your days. You might have a few sleepless nights thinking about the dwarves' law. But once you get used to the fear, knowing that a single slip-up could cost you everything, it's not too bad. <laughs> Nothing new to me, anyways. Okay, what can you tell me about the dwarves' laws? Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. That's about all I know. You should go and talk to Brawl in his chambers if you want to know more. Okay, I'll get going. Well, come on back anytime you like. Okay, well, I took down one of them. Can't wait to oh. Count on your ah, okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, whatever. I don't give a shit if you yield. Yeah. Oh ho! Oh ho! Cool. Okay, you're a good guy. That scared me. What are the gauntlets? Do I not have those? I totally don't. I have everything else, though. Okay, was that everyone? The quest didn't update, so I'm assuming it was not. Oh, but people are out and about again, Hello so... Hello there. Hello, Habik. What's your story? I'm Habik. Why are you glowing? I live out back with my wife, Miranda. We used to live in solitude, but... Same. Uh... We had to leave. Found this place by accident. Like most. The Jarl needed someone to mind the store. So, okay, well that's cool.
frustration increased. Okay. Is that everyone? No, you're still running and hiding. Okay, where the hell are the rest of these looters? All right, is anyone over here? I'll look down, see if there's anyone. Don't see any more bodies. Ah, here we go. Wait, no. Who the hell are you? What do you want? Oh, you're the one with the armor. Okay, well, we'll come Bye. back to you. I don't see any more looters, so I'm going to go try and... Oh, there's a hidden chest here. Cool. Oh, there's still more, huh? Dark Brotherhood Warlock? What the hell? I didn't even know that was a thing. Go through the city and just stop the losers from coming down the shaft. Warlock's orders, ebony dagger. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, thank the, the looters are dead. What a relief. We're so lucky that you arrived. <laughs> Look at she's like, are you talking to another woman? I'll be sure to tell everyone what you've done for us. Thank you so much. If there's ever anything my husband Tabik and I can do to help you, just ask. So what's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. My husband Tabik runs the clothing store in town. You should stop Dude, she by. is on edge. <laughs> I'm sure you'll leave looking much better. N not that you don't look good now, I mean. It's just, you know, nice clothes are... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm no good at selling anything. I guess that's why they've got me sweeping the floors, day in, day out. Well, that, and we weren't invited to be layabouts in the Jarl's Citadel. Layabouts? Did you see anyone working in the Citadel? I'll bet you didn't. They just amuse themselves all day, while those of us down here do all the work. And why? Because Habik's a Redguard, and I'm a Breton. I bet if we were both Imperial, it'd be a different story. The worst part is we left Solitude to get away from bigoted Nords after our son died. <laughs> but here, the Imperials are even worse. Yeah, good luck about getting away from racism in this game. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Of course. What happened to your son? Oh, uh, no offense, but I'd rather not talk about it. Wow, the Too little hesitation in her voice was so good. And besides... There are enough sad stories around this place as it is. But if you're interested, you can talk to my husband, Habik, in his shop, Firefly Finery. Let's talk about something else. Ever thought about challenging the Jarl? <laughs> no, let's All talk right. about something else. Uh, do you know a way out of here? If I did, Habik and I probably wouldn't be here. But Ulrin's wife managed to escape a while back. He doesn't like to talk about it, but... You might be able to get him to open up, I suppose. Huh. Okay, ask him about his disappeared wife. I'll be going nice now. Nice to talk to you. You See too. See you soon. Thank you. Now, is this dude still sitting here? Hey, Habik. Miranda told me you cut down those looters before they breached the city gates. Well done, my friend. Okay. Well done. Weird. Yeah, no problem. What's your story? I'm Habik. I live out back with my wife, Miranda. Lives in solitude in a little accident. Someone to mind the store. So I volunteered. Doesn't make any money, of course. Not enough customers. The Jarl says he likes to keep us busy and out of trouble. But of course, he and all his cronies in the Citadel never seem to lift a finger. Why did you leave Solitude? Our son was working at my stables outside the city. He was alone when he had a visit from some Imperial, a cousin of the High King. This Imperial thought he'd just take one of the horses as a tithe. Guess he didn't think a 12-year-old boy was going to stop him. 
but Limar wouldn't stand for it. And as the thief rode off, my son managed to shoot an arrow into his shoulder. But I... I wasn't there at the time. I came back from the market to find my son's body, trampled in the dirt. It was... I... I can't begin to describe it. I was shattered. I went straight Rip. to Torig's court and demanded justice. But I guess that word doesn't mean much to an Imperial. Instead, he seized my stables and told me if I ever set foot in solitude again, my wife and I would end up the same way as Lamar. God damn. So we left. Wandered Skyrim for a while, and eventually wound up here. I was hoping this place would be better. I was wrong. That sucks. Um, sorry to hear that. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, let's All not right. go around talking about Overthrow and the Yarl just yet. Do you know way out of here? No, I don't. But I'd wager that if anyone does know a way out, it's the Yarl. But of course, if he told anyone, he'd be ruling over an empty city. True. I'll be going now. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Now, one thing I want to check out is this... Uh, this mine shaft or whatever the hell it was. The one that crumpled in on top of us. Underground tunnels. Because hopefully... It hasn't collapsed yet. Yep, sure enough. Okay, this is definitely where I wanted to look. And this goes just down, 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 down. What is that now? Immaculate Dwarven Helmet. Well, I found it. Okay, so all I have to do... Whoa, 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 why am I dying? Why am I dying? Why am I dying? Find a way to protect yourself from the radiation. You know, I bet it has something to do with that fucking armor. I bet that immaculate armor can protect me from the radiation. That makes sense, which means I'd have to get it from the dude anyway. She said I could keep it, too, if I get it from him, so... Huh. Okay, well, I say we just keep talking to people. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff. I'll go one by one eventually, but right now I'm just gonna... Just gonna look for new people. Weird. Actually, what time is it? It's 9 p.m. Okay, I already talked to you, right, Gaia? Yes. I don't know what the hell that was. Shaking my screen like crazy. You, sir, I don't believe I've talked to. Hey, Veron. I hear you Vernon? those looters swiftly. Great work. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how often you want... Oh, uh, okay, I did. I did talk to you. Once you get... The many shall suffer. Well, come on back any time Okay. Like. Cool. You're still up here practicing. Heard you got to kill those looters. Wish I could have joined you. I haven't been allowed to fight in years. Uh, what's your story? Get out of my face, milk drinker. Why does everybody hate milk drinkers? That's so stupid. I love milk. Why does that make me a bad person? <laughs> what's your my problem? My problem. Is that I'm the only one around here whose head isn't buried in the sand. That's my problem. Fair enough. What do you mean? I mean, everyone acts like nothing's wrong. But we're one stupid mistake away from being wiped out. Like the last lot of people who lived here. Seems like I'm the only one ready for what's coming. Whatever that is. And when it hits... It's every man for himself. You've been warned. Uh, what do you think is coming? I don't know. 
But did you ever get the feeling these statues are watching us? Like they're waiting for something. I don't like it. Okay. Do you know where you're out of here? If I did, I wouldn't be standing here listening to you. That's what everybody says, yep. About that shiny dwarven armor you're wearing. What about it? I need it to complete the set. I'd like to buy it from you. That's probably the good, good... Give it to me or I'll kill you and take it. Are there any others like it? Nope. This is the only one like it in the whole city. I'd like to buy it it's from you. It's not for sale. Okay. I need it to complete the set. Not my problem. Okay. I want oh, it. Well, in that case, you still can't have it. Let me be clear. The only way you'll get this armor is if you peel it from my corpse. God, okay, fine. Uh -huh. You're such a dickhole. Okay, well, let's see if this place is still locked off. Because there was a ton of coffins in here. And in palace. Okay, it looks like the thing is still cut off. But there's a lot... Less coffins? More coffins? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can get in there. Oh, there's some dwarven gloves, though. Maybe I can... Oh, did he have the gloves? I don't think he had gloves on. So maybe we have to, like, find each one piece by piece and then kill him to get it? I don't know. Beats me, man. Interesting. Okay. And now... Since I've talked to everyone I've could anyone i've could um i am going to wait until it is daytime so that everybody's out of their house and i'm gonna go snoop in okay nine all right so who are you brawl hello neighbor i understand we have you to thank for dispensing with some would-be looters so Thank you. What's your story? My story? What a strange question. You presuppose that my life is a simple linear sequence of events which can be summed up in a verbal narrative? Well, that's Jesus nonsense, Christ, this fucking guy. First, most of it was so long ago I barely remember. Second, you would have to assume that the account I give you is biased heavily in my favor, and is therefore quite unreliable. And finally, my story is really much less interesting than this mysterious place. Now, oh, do I'll you give you that sensible one. Sensible questions, or can I get back to work? Second thought, never mind. I just wanted to know what you do and where you're from. Well, why didn't you say so? I researched dwarven history and technology, and I'm originally from Cragenmoor in Morrowind. Any other questions? Do you know a way out of here? Now, that's an interesting question. <laughs> I personally don't know any way out, no. However, I have a theory. It's more of a hypothesis, really. My thinking is that if there was a way out of here, the dwarves who built this place must have known about it. But the dwarves disappeared ages ago. True. But we can learn all sorts of things about them from what they left behind. Inscriptions, architecture, relics, statues... And while I've discovered many things here, there are some parts of the city I haven't been able to get to. Like the one down I'm in the- I'm most interested in the palace, above the lake. Oh. Unfortunately, it's sealed up tight. Only one man ever managed to enter, and he never came out. The one that with the dwarven gloves. Anonymous, and we haven't heard from him in years. Strange fellow. I believe he was looking for the secrets of the dwarves too. If you could find a way in there, I'm sure it would tell us a great deal about this place. Who knows what secrets we could uncover. Okay, find a way into the Abandoned Palace. Uh, what can you tell me about the laws here? Well, the dwarves who built this city left inscriptions in the Citadel, which translate to, 
The many the shall, many suffer, shall the suffer the sins of the, sins of the one. one. Yep. My research leads me to believe that if a single member of our community sins, it'll trigger an event, killing us all. I believe such an event occurred some years ago, which is why Metellus found the city littered with burnt corpses. But to this day, there are many questions we simply don't have answers for. How is the Dwarf's Law still being enforced? How does it work? And we may never know. As long as nobody attacks or steals from anybody else. Until we know more, we all need to be on our best behavior. True. Uh, do you know anything about time travel? Time travel? Just asking for a friend. You know, as it happens, I do. It was a great obsession of mine for years after... After my wife passed. I thought if I could go back, I... I gave up on that idea a long time ago. But recently, the Jarl has asked to see my research notes. How strange that you should now take an interest too. Can I ask what the nature of your interest is in this unusual subject? I traveled here from the future and I want to go back. Uh, I... Uh, I don't quite know what to say to that. Hmm, how can I put this charitably? Perhaps you're tired and emotional and need some rest. But I always enjoy discussing my theories with a receptive mind. So I'll humor you. What did you want to ask? If you traveled to the past, how would you return to the present? For argument's sake, if you found yourself in that position, you'd have only two options. To live out your days in the past, or force a paradox. A paradox, you see, would involve changing the past so as to prevent the events which caused you to travel back in time in the first place. But... You'd be taking a big risk by doing that. Who knows what the consequences would be? Some say that whatever you do, it will lead you right back to the future that took you back in time in the first place. An eternal loop, if you will. But me, I believe that creating a paradox should fling you back to your original time, having changed the past for you and everyone else. How would I create a paradox? Well, Let's say, for argument's sake, that you really have traveled here from the future. You could create a paradox in a few different ways. Like murdering the Jarl? <laughs> you could do anything that would remove Pushing him off a cliff? ...or motivation to return to the past. For example, you came here to achieve some goal. Achieving that goal would mean you will never have been motivated to come here. A paradox. Or, if the thing that allowed you to travel back in time is still here, as a past version of itself, you could simply destroy it, I suppose. That would mean that's the one I did that you will never have been able to travel back in time. Another paradox, but doing so could have terrible consequences. But if you really are from the future, as unlikely as that is, telling me or anybody else what happens next could have disastrous consequences, too. I think it's best if we talk about something else. Fair enough. Uh, what can you tell me about the harmful energy under the city? Ah, uh, yes. Fascinating, isn't it? It seems to be radiating from something deep beneath the city. But I've never been down far enough to see what it is. But if the dwarves were able to access the quarry that appears to be down there, presumably they had a way to protect themselves from it. So perhaps a full suit of dwarven armor would protect you. Not just any old dwarven armor, though. It would have to be in immaculate condition. Yep. Okay. What's with the big glowing orb above us? <laughs> that is the sun under the ground. Or at least that's how it's referred to. In oh, the hello. I haven't talked to you either. To translate. I must confess, I haven't the faintest idea of how it works. But it seems to be giving us light and allowing us to grow crops, even under the ground. Of course, if it ever stops glowing, for whatever reason... We'll all be in quite a lot of trouble. But don't concern yourself with such dark thoughts. I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. I found some immaculate dwarven armor. Ah, yes. Most dwarven armor you see these days is quite badly worn. But this piece is still perfect. After thousands of years. It also seems to have some magical properties. 
It should protect you from the harmful energy down in the tunnels below the city. It all but killed Brandis when he went down there. But he didn't have a full set. If you can get down there safely, let me know what you discover. Okay, I'll be going now. Very well. Come back if you think of any questions about something you discover. True. Luki. Oh, a new person. Well, welcome to our city. Or whatever it is the Jarl tells us to say. Uh, what is your story? I'm Luki. I'm what passes for an alchemist and healer around here. I'll be honest. I don't much care for dealing with people or healing them. But I wouldn't <laughs> trust anyone else around here with the responsibility. And I guess somebody's got to do it, right? True. Sounds like you don't think much of your neighbors. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't like my neighbors. I don't like anyone. Stupid, untrustworthy, <laughs> selfish, ugly creatures Fair enough. We humans are. Fair enough. But you know what? At You're least a cat lady? down here, people are on their best behavior most of the time. What with the dwarves' law and all. I mean, people are still bastards, but at least they have to be discreet about it. Nobody's openly violent, and nobody's ever stolen anything from me. Huh. Do you know a way out of here? There isn't one. This place is like a firefly trap. One way in, no way out. Could be worse, though. You could be living in bloody Skyrim. <laughs> About... Brandis? Ah, uh, yes. Poor Brandis. I've been doing my best to keep the poor fool alive. What of him? What happened to him? He came here with his partner, full of big talk about how Stendar sent them to purge some great evil from beneath the city. Now, none of us know exactly what's down there. But if there is a great evil, then it made the mighty Stendar look like a milk drinker. All I really? know is nobody with half a brain should go down there. Not without a way to protect themselves from the energy that killed poor Brandis. About yes. Brandis? What, what about, about him? him? Can I help in some way? Uh, yes, I suppose. Just go down and check up on him for me, would you? His house is not far from here, down in the inner ring of the city. Okay, I'll be going now. Alright, see you soon, neighbor. <laughs> So it looks like he doesn't have boots or gloves or a helmet. He's just got the armor, the chest piece. So we're going to have to find those. Oh. Got a missing ring. Gold ring. Belong to my deceased son. High sentimental value. Reward available for retrieval. Okay. We can talk to them. So... First things first, let's go in here and see. So you're the one who killed all those people. Did it make you feel like a big hero? Have you asked yourself who's going to clean up all your mess? You know what? That's a fair point. And yes, it did make me feel like a big penis. The honest traitor. Okay. Hello. How are you, Douglin? Ah, the bandit slayer. Good to see you. What's your story? My story? Well, my name is Degland, and I'm a man. Degland? Yeah. What's people say to me? Degland, they say. Degland, why are you a merchant? They find it surprising because I'm such an honest and trustworthy person. And sometimes you hear about your merchants who are, you know, dishonest. Well, I say to those people, I'm not like them. My father used to say to me, Degland, you can't be like the others. You be a good boy. And I was, my friend. I was not only just a good boy. I was the best boy. The best boy now. And the Who's best the best best boy? With the best Who's the best boy? You know a way out of here? My friend, you're in luck. I actually do. You're but, in luck. Uh, let's keep it down, eh? Don't want anyone else to hear, do we? But, uh... I'll be honest with you, my friend. I'm looking after you. There's a bit of a catch. See, it's only going to work for one person yet. I've been keeping it to myself, you know, thinking maybe I'll need it myself one day. But uh, I'm a reasonable guy yet. Yeah. I reckon I could be, what's the word, persuaded? 
Persuaded to give it away for, say, a thousand gold coins? Um... Mm, I can pay them. I'd like more information friend, first. I can tell you it involves magic. Very special and very rare magic. But uh, I shouldn't say any more than that. I need to eat, you know. You know, I'll pay you. Oh, good choice, my friend. You won't regret it. Oh, and if you do, no refunds. Not that it'll matter. Because you'll be out of here in no time. And here it is. It's called an elixir of acrobatics. I got it from an alchemist in Morrowind years ago. And I've kept it with me just in case. And now it's all yours. Once you you want me to jump, you'll be able to jump back like a up? And you should be able to leap up to the, the shaft. The entrance. Now go, my friend. Get out of here and be free. Huh. That's funny. But I still have more questions. Purchase, what have we got the for sale? Is for you, my friend. You just got a bunch of shit. Yeah, don't need that. Ring of Minor Sneaky. That might actually be good for sneaking around and seeing what's what. A jug of milk. I'm a milk drinker, baby. Fuck you. Moon sugar? Isn't that... Isn't that cocaine or something? <laughs> the Standing Stones? I'll buy these just because I haven't read them. And then I don't really need anything else. Uh, let's go read those books. I don't need them for the... For the museum. But I'd still like to read them Until just because. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Standing stones. Cool. Warlock's orders. I forgot to read this. My sweet child, if Quintus thinks he can hide from his own family, he is even he is even a greater disappointment than I thought. He may have eluded his other siblings, but I know you won't let me down this as they did. Uh take some of your play things and find out where that venomous little spider is hiding, and when you find him, sweetling. Do what you do best. Him. Quintus. Okay, so is there a Quintus anywhere? A purchase, my friend. Find Quintus and investigate whether he's a threat. Okay, requires key. Underground tunnels, eh? Interesting. So. What do you want? I think for now we're gonna go and look at some of these other firefly finery hello sir is that a beak yeah what do you got for sale my guy the superior dwarven helmet welcome to fire about your missing ring ah you saw my notice then what about it i'd like to help any idea where i should start looking thank you the ring belonged to my son Lumar. Yeah, we saw. He wore it everywhere. He told me it was a gift from a strange wood elf he met in the forest once. It was the only thing I had to remind me of him. But a while ago, I dropped it down the stairs in my shop, and it rolled under a door at the bottom. The trouble is, I've never been able to unlock the door, or work out what's down there. But I'm sure it's possible huh. because I hear noises down there. So I'll bet that somebody somewhere in the city knows a way down there. And who knows what else you'll find once you get in. Interesting. Yes. Have you found I'm still oh. looking. All right. What do you have for Only sale? The finest clothes in town. And some fucking stuff. Yeah, some fucking bullshit, dude. Weird. Okay. Dwarven armor. 
anything I need from the museum. Doesn't look like it. Okay. See you again soon. Well, I guess every shop has an underground oh. tunnel. Okay, well that's weird. Interesting. The plot thickens, eh? I don't like that you're just walking around with the fucking axe like you're gonna kill everyone. Let's try this one now. I didn't read the I didn't read the sign <laughs> or what it said. Hello, Vernon. What can I do for you, my friend? What's your story? I'm Vernon, your friendly grocer and all around nice guy. You want fresh food? You're in the right place. You want Wait. Did you hear that? Hear what? Oh no. Someone just slid another letter under my door. Could you uh do me a favor and grab that before anyone else sees it? What? Vernon, you are an abomination. Remember the dwarves' law, the many shall suffer the sins of the one. You may have hidden your sins from the dwarves so far, but they they're the least of your worries, your neighbor. Uh-oh. Well, what did it say? Why is somebody writing you threatening letters? Look, I haven't done anything wrong, if that's what you're thinking. It's not as if I'm a vampire or a necromancer or anything. Somebody just has a problem with my preference for male company. Ah. Uh, nothing gets by you, does it? Sorry, that was me. Do the dwarves yes. consider that a sin? I like men. And when you grow up in Windhelm like I did, you expect a bit of hostility. Whoa, Serana, what the fuck was that? Attacked and driven away by angry lords <laughs> to know the cost of not keeping your personal affairs to yourself. So I hid who I was for... What was it? 20 years? Living in the barracks with a dozen other guardsmen, watching what I said and where I looked. But that kind of fear eats away at you slowly, until living isn't any better than the thing you were afraid of. And that's when I came clean. Needless to say, since I'm now living underground on the opposite corner of Skyrim, my openness didn't go well among the Lords of Windhelm. But at least down here, I get to be who I am. That's or, cool. At least, I thought that was the case. Perhaps I was wrong. Hmm. Do you know who's writing these notes? No, I don't. I keep my personal affairs to myself, and I've never really been interested in any of the men here. Not my type. It wouldn't usually bother me. I have a thick skin, and I can handle myself in a fight better than most. But if these threats keep getting worse, eventually my secret admirer is going to get violent and break the dwarves' laws. Let me look into it for you. What? Really? I didn't expect that, but thanks. It's always a relief to meet someone who's so open-minded. I'm glad you're here. I'd start by working out who uses dread ink or ugh, blood on their letters. Interesting, come yeah. Back and let me know what you find. That is a good starting point. Any luck? What do you have for sale? Foods, potions, all sorts of things. Okay, yeah, potions, foods, all sorts of things. Cool. I'll be going now. Back soon. Interesting start to a to oh. an interesting investigation. Well, calm down. Hoppa. <laughs> all right. Well, I think I'm gonna call it there. We still have plenty of things to talk about and talk to, and I need to search all these people's houses, which I'm assuming is what they are. Yeah. House, 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 underground tunnels. Ooh, I didn't see that. House, house, house. Those are all good. And then you got the Citadel, Citadel. 
Scholar's house, chambers, chambers, house, golden sentinel tavern. Okay. And then house, 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 house. Okay, so we still got quite a bit of shit to go through. Plus the lake house and the sunken house. We should actually check that sunken house now that we're in the past. Maybe there's something over there that's like different. I don't know. But for now, I'm going to call it there. What a cool concept. What a cool detective mystery we got going on here. There's so many threads that you can go through. There's so many like paths you can take. And I'm super excited and interesting about this. I'll see you in the next one.